climate change is a pressing global challenge. India, a nation on the front lines of this crisis, has made a bold commitment to achieve net zero emissions by 2070. This ambitious goal signifies India's dedication to a sustainable future. Central to this vision is the adoption of electric vehicles, or EVs. EVs offer a pathway to decarbonize transportation, a sector heavily reliant on fossil fuels. India's push for EVs aligns with its broader sustainable energy goals. The country aims to significantly increase its renewable energy capacity. By promoting EVs, India not only reduces its carbon footprint, but also decreases its dependence on oil imports. This transition to a greener economy holds immense potential for India's environmental and economic well-being. The Indian government has demonstrated its commitment to EVs through a series of policy measures. The 2024 budget, in particular, stands out for its focus on bolstering the EV sector. Recognizing the critical role of battery minerals, the budget announced custom duty exemptions for imports of lithium, nickel and cobalt. These minerals are essential components of lithium-ion batteries, the heart of EVs. This strategic move aims to make EVs more affordable in India. By reducing the cost of importing these crucial minerals, the government is incentivizing domestic EV manufacturing. The budget's emphasis on battery minerals signifies a crucial step towards establishing a robust and self-reliant EV ecosystem in India. Lithium-ion batteries are the powerhouse behind the EV revolution. These batteries offer high energy density, making them ideal for powering vehicles. However, the production of these batteries heavily relies on critical minerals, particularly lithium. India, despite its ambitious EV goals, faces a significant challenge, securing a steady and reliable supply of lithium. Currently, India imports a majority of its lithium requirements. This dependence on imports exposes the country to global supply chain vulnerabilities and price fluctuations. To mitigate these risks, India is actively exploring strategies to secure its lithium supply. This includes identifying domestic reserves, fostering international partnerships, and investing in lithium refining technologies. Section 4. Powering up. India's quest for critical minerals. Recognizing the strategic importance of critical minerals, India has embarked on a multi-pronged approach to ensure their availability. The government is actively exploring potential lithium reserves within the country. Geological surveys and exploration activities are being intensified to identify and assess promising deposits. Furthermore, India is forging strategic partnerships with lithium-rich nations. These partnerships involve collaborations in mining, processing and technology transfer. By diversifying its sources and engaging in mutually beneficial collaborations, India aims to secure a stable and sustainable supply of critical minerals for its burgeoning EV industry. Section 5. Roadblocks and Solutions – Overcoming Challenges in EV Adoption While India's EV aspirations are commendable, several challenges hinder widespread adoption. One significant hurdle is the lack of adequate charging infrastructure. The availability of conveniently located and reliable charging stations is crucial to alleviate range anxiety among potential EV buyers. Another challenge is the high upfront cost of EVs compared to conventional vehicles. While the government's incentives and tax breaks help bridge the gap, further measures are needed to make EVs more accessible to the masses. Public awareness and education about the benefits of EVs are also crucial for driving adoption. Section 6. Driving Change, Government Policies and Incentives The Indian government has implemented various policies and incentives to accelerate EV adoption. The Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Electric Vehicles, or FAME, scheme provides financial subsidies for EV buyers. This scheme aims to make EVs more affordable and encourage their adoption across different vehicle segments. In addition to subsidies, the government has reduced the goods and services tax, or GST, on EVs. Several states have also introduced their own EV policies, offering tax breaks, exemptions from road tax and other incentives. These measures collectively create a favourable environment for EV adoption in India.